That's in our top story tonight at six. The city of Colorado Springs now has its first citizen run police oversight committee in place. Bill Folsom, he's live downtown with what happened at city council today. Bill. Yeah, we've got 11 on the commission, two alternates. They were chosen from more than 800 applicants. They are a new voice of the people. It is a diverse group, and that means some very strong differing opinions. So the question now is, can they come together on the goal of creating better relations between police and the community? Young, seasoned academics, minority activists, advocates for youth, a few with law enforcement backgrounds, and two who were among protesters asking for this commission the new Law Enforcement Transparency and Accountability Commission. I am the youngest. Um, it feels good to, to represent the young voices in the community. I think I'll be able to learn a great deal myself from their perspectives. We asked you all in the interviews, could you work with someone who disagrees with you on something? And every one of you said yes. New commission members are well aware they are coming to the table with people of different backgrounds and views. They're also taking on the tough issue of community and police relations. I think there's a need for that, not only in our community, but in every community. First, they've got to figure out where to start. I would like to, you know, speak to everybody else, um, kind of get with city council um, and the administration and see uh, the actual direction that we're going to take with this. It's an honor and now it's time to get to work. Rachel Flick, a new commission member and wife of Deputy Micah Flick, who was killed in the line of duty. She showed the first effort to move past differing opinions. She acknowledged her appointment was controversial and some council members did not vote for her. She said the loss of her husband was life-changing, but she's also passionate about this issue. And in the bigger picture, I absolutely care for racial justice and unity and the reconciliation of our nation on a, on a big scale. And more than recommendations, this group will have substantial influence on the city council, the mayor's office, and of course, our police department. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5. Bill,